so what this re-entry program is for those uh, inmates or incarcerated individuals who left the prison system and a majority of them are Muslims who have uh, come to this home where uh, we are not only going to provide them a uh, safe and secure environment. Today was the opening of this facility and uh, city deputy mayor and other um, uh, city officials were there, community leaders were here. Here. and they were very appreciative of this work uh, uh, what Ignar Leaf is doing and uh, we hope that this way uh, this will open a door um, uh, for a lot of those people who end up who want to change their life but uh, due to lack of cooperation uh, they end up back in the system uh, either in the jail or on the streets. Currently there are two million people who are incarcerated across the United States. Of that population 10 to 15 percent are Muslims. In Washington State where we are currently there are approximately 20,000 folks who are incarcerated. 6,900 and some odd folks every year are released from prison in Washington and 69 percent of them face homelessness and housing insecurity. I felt that it's very important for me to come all the way from Bothell to here to uh, to celebrate the opening of this this excellent program because people have made mistakes and uh, we need to help them to become contributing members of society so they won't go back to making mistakes. Public safety, we talk about public safety and getting folks into the the, the you know the prison system, but we need to also talk about how you get people out of the prison system and become like all of us contributing uh, members of the society, doing good and moving us forward. A Muslim who comes home who has no family, no wealth, no stability, has a safe place to not only reintegrate into society, but more importantly, has the ability to be in an environment where they can hold on to their deen and they can say on the Sirat al-Mustaqim, which is very difficult when most people, and especially in this state, when they get out of prison, they have to go to a transition home. Sometime uh, either their immigration problem or sometime there are issues with the system and when they come out, it's very difficult for them to transition uh, into real life to become a productive citizen. They have the potential, they are good people, uh, but uh, it's very difficult for them to open a bank account to get a job. So Iqnar Leaf has established this facility where they will come in and help them to transition into the society as productive citizen, as a good Muslim, as responsible people. Our job at Iqnar Leaf in the Sakina House project is to work with Washington State to reduce the recidivism rate and to create a safer community for everybody and to help our brothers who are releasing from prison to have a safe place where they can begin what the, the, the things that they need to do to reintegrate themselves successfully into the community. Hold on to their Iman, have some taqwa and be in a safe place to continue to be good Muslims that they were in prison but now also become free, responsible, productive citizens who can you know learn how to take care of themselves without the help of you know the government and can at the same time become strong men and go and live, have families and wives and it's this that's why this place is beautiful because that's the goal you know inshallah and so may Allah re reward Ikna and everybody who uh, created this place for him you know, alhamdulillah But uh, rehabilitation, counseling, networking, and mentoring for these people and empowerment so they are able to stand on their two feet and be able to make it in their lives. Because once they go out into the society, they are not really accepted the way that we could, that uh, the Muslim uh, environment, Islamic environment, because the managers uh, of this home is also uh, those actually who have been through this process and know the needs of this community.